Here's an eastern rat snake. Sometimes these guys make their back look squiggly so they can look like sticks uh, on the ground just as a form of camouflage. Let's see what happens if I, if I touch him, see if he's gonna move. Whoop, yep, he's moving. There we go, I got him. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set him down and let him go wherever he wants to. Okay, this seems to be like a really good night for snakes. Um, cause this is the second Eastern King snake I've found in this area. And the first one, I'm not even sure if it really was an Eastern King snake, just because I didn't get a good look at it. Um, and this was maybe three years ago. So this is really cool. This is also my first Eastern King snake I've seen so far this year. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this little guy go too. I just found him behind me. This is a little rat snake that my neighbors called me up to remove from the yard. I didn't want to take it too far away from their house. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't want to put it like right back where I found it. So um, I found this little area. The problem is that I'm in a neighborhood and um, there is a little forested spot next to the neighborhood, but then that little forested spot um, is not as forested as it used to be uh, as people come down here and uh, try and landscape it and treat it as if it's their own backyard um which isn't really good it's not it's not uh being managed to support wildlife it's just being managed and landscaped for aesthetic reasons um but this seems to be like a decent spot to let this guy go or decent enough as good as i'm gonna find so i'm just gonna go ahead and let him go onto those little pines hopefully he can grab on or maybe not yep yeah there he goes um 